Vincent, I'm going to tell you a thing or two about what Skybits does, right? Okay. For trailers, containers, and remote assets of all type, Sky, Skybits helps companies drive profitability across their entire operation by implementing smart sensors and monitoring technology. Now, that's super exciting, right? How yeah, important do you think that would be in a cold chain? Yeah, pretty, pretty darn important. You know, they even work in theft. And if, you, if any of you caught What the Truck viewers or your normal viewers, you would have caught Monday's episode when we had Travelers on, right? Yeah. We had uh, Scott on from Travelers, and he was talking all about the issues with cargo theft. That's a great episode. Look it up on your favorite podcast player, Look it Up What the Truck or Freycast. But right now, we welcome Nico Brown, he's sales manager over at Skybits, to talk to us about a partnership with Cortex and maybe a little bit about how Skybits aids the cold chain. Nico, thanks for joining us today. Hello. How's it going today? <laughs> Looking good, <laughs> my man. Where are you, uh, where are you uh, homing in from? Uh, I'm in uh, Herndon, Virginia, in our uh, home office for Skybits. Now, beautiful. Be and now he's one of the most fashionable people in freight. He's not wearing it today, but he got one of those possum shirts you may have seen at other Freightways virtual events. Oh, I love the possum shirt. Yeah. Well, hey, Nico, you know, for those I of you... also wore my, uh, my dragon shirt, uh, Ooh. which Ooh. was really loud, and my wife was like, you're not wearing that on TV. Yeah, well, here's a dragon mm -hmm. we can slay, cold chain. How about we get into it? Nico, introduce yourself real quick. Well, my name is Nico Brown. I'm a regional sales manager with Skybits. We deal with uh, tracking non-cold chain assets, so dry vans, uh, stoop decks, whatever else you want to throw at us, we can track them. And, you know, more than tracking them, we can tell you what they're doing, where they're doing. Wow. That, uh, <laughs> that's awesome stuff. So you guys have a, a partnership now with Cortex. Can you talk to a little bit about how that partnership really benefits those, those fleets and, and particularly the mixed fleets? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we, we all know that a lot of people who run cold chain equipment also run dry equipment. So you normally have to have two separate solutions on two completely separate systems to address both sides of your fleet. So Skybits has always been the leader in the dry chain, right? We're, we're the number one company by far for tracking assets that are not refrigerated. And, you know, when we looked at coming out with a cold chain solution, it was just the best thing possible to sign up with Cortex, who is one of the best names in cold chain, and then marry what they do with their data to what we do with our data so that you can get it all in one place in one ecosystem. Now, operationally, you're probably going to need someone to run that back end. So how does your customer success managers work to help that base? So our customer success managers do a large part of the, you know, the extra value that Skybits brings. Because, again, it's not just about where your assets are. It's about using that data to solve actual problems or drive metrics or, you know, increase your revenue per trailer. So what the customer success managers do is when you're looking at that data and you don't know, you know, what it's telling you or how to use it, our customer success managers partner with you and they bring, you know, not only experience from your account, but all of the other larger accounts that they deal with and share best practices and make sure that you're getting the most out of everything that we're bringing to the table. Excellent stuff. Now, you talk about, you, you, you mentioned that it's not just about where that asset is and tracking those assets. So uh, one of the things I would imagine that you can, you can solve is for uh, capacity constraints, right? Better planning? Yes, better planning um, and better routing. You know, when you talk about, you know, getting to a load, you know, it's not just about picking up the trailer. It's not just about routing a driver. It's about, you know, if I'm going to route you to that trailer, is it actually in the status that I need for that run? If it needs to be empty, is it empty at the time that I send the driver out so that he's not waiting around trying to, you know, wait for them to load a trailer? If it's supposed to be picked up full, you know, before you dispatch a driver, you know, take them out of their house and say, hey, go wait here for two hours. I know before I send you out that the trailer has been loaded by the customer. Now, Nico, if you've, uh, if you've checked the spot market recently, especially if you're in the reefer side, right, Michael Vincent? Like, mm -hmm. if, you're, uh, if you're subscribed to the What the Truck newsletter, you know I, would ca I called out that lane, Reefer Madness, from Syracuse to Hartford. Yeah. What was it, 528 a mile? Yeah, that's right. So how does Skybits help with that? How does Skybits help you get ahead of the market and be a little bit smarter about making some of this decision-making and not waking up with sticker shock and seeing, oh, man, I got I to gotta move at 528 a mile? 
Yeah, so what we do to help address that, you know, if you're looking at the cold train, the cold chain spot rates, that's not really us, that's more cortex. But if you're looking at spot rates in general, you know, what's one of the biggest questions that you have when you're looking at whether or not you can take advantage of a spot rate, uh, spot rate in a lane? You need to know if you already have equipment in that lane ready to go to pick up a load. So we tell you, again, not only that you have something in that lane or around that lane where you have to make that pickup, but we're going to show you the closest unloaded trailer possible to that location and to the driver so that you're not wasting empty miles getting to your drop uh, pickup location. Excellent stuff, Nico. You talked about the fact that you, you know you guys were the number one player in the in the dry in the dry space, right? Yeah. In the dry van space, and looking to get that solution with uh, in in the cold side or the reefer side. And I guess rather than an invent you know reinvent something that is there, partner with the leader in that area, Cortex. Can you talk about that a little bit more? Yeah, so you have to look at the the value that Skybits has you know changed over the last you know five six years to bring to trucking fleets, right? So, you know, I keep harping on it, on it like it's a like like I just like repeating myself, but it's not just about the data, right? It's about what you do with it. So, when you look at Skybus as a company, we don't have sales reps, we have sales managers, we have account reps to show that we want to partner with you. And, you know, we want to make sure that you're getting the most out of that data. So we could have made our own, sure. But when you look at Cortex as a company, they run a lot of the same way that we do. It's not just about where your cold chain equipment is. It's about what temperature is it at. <laughs> Sorry, I apparently wasn't moving enough. Uh, but it's about, you know, what, what temperature. Effects. I need to be more animated. So it's not yeah. just about, you know, where your equipment is. You know, they also have uh, customer success managers, Travis, who's going to be on after me, who – take that data from your cold chain and do the same thing that Skybits does with it, where we marry the information to the best practices to solving solutions that your business has. And, you know, that's why the partnership just made perfect sense because we run our companies a lot of the same way to get the value to our customers. <laughs> Yeah, so sorry. I just I just saw on on the LinkedIn is a little bit delayed, so I got to see that that uh, special effect of you throwing your arms up in full living color. <laughs> was awesome. It was wonderful, Nico. <laughs> hey, let's cut loose a little bit here. You might notice we have a uh, a new item sitting here on our desk. Oh, it is yeah. our our wheel of stupid questions, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Vanna White here. I'm gonna spin this thing, and you promised me you'd answer whatever it lands on. So let's get to it, Nico. All right, it's going around and around. Where it lands, no one knows. <laughs> what does it say? Oh, okay, Nico. If you were a professional wrestler, what would your gimmick be? Ooh. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay. So, I like, you know, just showmanship, right? Like, just pure showmanship. So, if it was me, I would come out and, like, you know, like, you know, uh, Goldberg? Yeah. You know, with the, the loud colored, like, Lycra? I would do that. I'd dye my dread red, so like I'd come out like Willow Smith, like with my hair back and forth, and I'd never throw a punch. I would just look at people, and like they would fall, and like be counted out. Like that would be my whole shtick. I'm just a <laughs> mental. <laughs> wow, I, I really <laughs> like him. Wrestler, I love it. I think he's put a lot of shower time thinking yeah, about yeah, uh, yeah. What, yeah. how his gimmick would be and how it developed. But I also like as I'm kind of like a, 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 a lazy person sometimes too. I like that he doesn't have to do any physical activity. He just has to use his mind to take the opponent out. <laughs> <laughs> his work day is this. Well, hey, tech, tech <laughs> is enabling fleets to use their mind to move their freight and know where it is with visibility through programs like Skybiz. Nico, people want to learn more. Where do we send them? So if you're looking for me personally, you can almost always find me on FreightWaves events because I love you guys. <laughs> if you're looking for Skybiz as a company, go to skybiz.com and, you know, figure out all of, about us there. Well, and you know what? You're almost like halfway there at the gimmick, like the Undertaker. You almost brought down the lights with the uh, that hand motion you were doing. It was fantastic to see. <laughs> no, it's cool. We just talked to Nico Brown from Skybits right now. They're in that partnership with Cortex, though, right, Michael Vincent? Yeah, so absolutely. when we come back, we'll talk to Travis Ross. And, uh, you know, now we separate them. We'll get his side of the story on how that partnership is going. I imagine we will only hear good things. Stay frosty. We'll be back. 